Hi friends, uh, good evening to us in this video. In this video, we're going to speak about S Bank Limited because our latest update has been received regarding S Bank Limited, and which may be very, very happy for you, friends, because uh, this capital raising process is being ongoing. And there's a new update regarding capital issue, and I want to show you that, friends. Uh, it is none other than Hindu Joss and Cerberus will partner to bid for S Bank stake. And this is this has news news has came here, and uh, you must note it, friends. Uh, they are basically given that Hin Hindu Joss Brothers Group as well as uh, uh, Cerberus is trying to invest a major stake in S Bank. But you should know basically that these two or big investors they cannot usually a businessman cannot hold a bank directly. Rather they may invest up to a small amount, maybe five to ten percent of the stake. But after getting the approval from RBI, they may increase the stake. So you know, what basically, you no, know, what basically this thing tell to you, friends, is that S Bank Limited is basically positioned. For a beautiful ride, maybe for a few weeks, because if this capital proposition holds swing, I think uh, S Bank Limited may get a beautiful future. Now, what basically this news conveys is that Hindu Brothers is in UK is a big known businessman, and also you should note uh, various things have been possible by Hindu Brothers. Now, what is the future of S Bank? In the hands of these brothers is that uh, I mean Hindu group is that they are telling that they will try to invest at a low level price. So what price they may invest is the main question or the main query. So if you ask me, friends, we always say a target of 53 rupees. Now people may think how they attain a target of 53 rupees. Uh, maybe we should give a clarification regarding the 53 rupees. If you ask me, friends, you should note a main point of this is the the book value of the share is around 106 rupees to be precise. So if we get a 50% discount in the book value due to this bad loans, shadow loans, provisions, etc. A 50% fall is more than enough which leaves you at the range of 53 rupees. Maybe this may sound comedy. You people may comment and put, you put in the comment you are sounding comedy. This is not possible but basically think of factor fence. The first QAP which was made in August was in the range of 83 rupees, right? I think the, at that time the financial position of this bank was major stable, but now S Bank Limited has deteriorated its book value as well as deteriorated financial performance. The reason is that all happened in a single day with single time. You should note that Cafe Cafe Day gone, and also you should ATAG Group's loan, and also several other parties' loan. And this basically now Vodafone idea is, is been rising up. But you should know that Vodafone idea is trying to maintain its equilibrium point and is trying to move away from this all hindrances. But you should not maintain about this S Bank limit is that trading cautiously in S Bank is for short term traders is very, very good. But now this has this into the brothers has been trying to invest in this company. I think this is very very good news and you should note because. They are given the Indian lender is has been struggling to raise capital, which means they are telling about this company, S Bank Limited. So they have said that uh, the spokesperson for Hindu Joss Group as well as uh, this RBA Cerberus, they did not immediately comment to this because I think it is a very very price sensitive information. If Hindu Joss Brothers Group come and invest in this S Bank Limited, I think people who are losing their money in S Bank currently now. Would definitely benefit of this investment. Maybe they can invest at the low price, but basically note this point, friends. Wait patiently. The positive news for S Bank will definitely help you a lot. Maybe I may sound a bit comedy for you, but I think uh, staying positive will definitely help the share to move around because we never expected this kind of news would come. Already, we always see media will putting a bad news about S Bank Limited, basically on this capital fundraise issue. As you can see, the last every meeting of the capital raise, they will put a bad news, make the share price come down. I think now the cloud is going to be cleared. Also, the 10,000 crore amount amount of this EGM has been approved by shareholders. Now it is in the hands of S Bank management to attract more investors and make them invest in S Bank Limited and give a beautiful gain for all those people 
who are invested in this bank and also you should note once upon a time a private bank known for its beautiful operations is now struggling at the lot but even the struggle you should note the most advanced bank computerized bank in india is none other than s bank limited in also upa transaction it has beaten down this paytm and is now in the first place so i think all the good things are happening slowly for s bank but you should note a problem that slow and steady wins the race and we are very very happy like this news and we are sure that s bank may attract these investors try to invest at 53 rupees also is, i think is a large dilution is possible but i basically it's a very very good news regarding now the price at they which they invest and things you know, is going to be out very very soon maybe within a two weeks or so i think that that would definitely move up s bank limited to a large level and this is about s bank limited friends if i enter this news till now then click the subscribe button because you could get our latest updates regarding many shares daily thank you friends once again for seeing this video till now